Hey YouTube, this is going to be a short little video on how to make a, a light guard basically to protect your snakes so they don't burn themselves on light bulbs. It basically look like that so they can't touch the light bulb and get burnt. So we'll see about there. So I'm going to basically show you how to make one of these and how to attach them and basically how to make one. So all you'll need at the moment to start off is buy some of this from wherever you know that sells it like a home base or home depots or whatever you call them and you should find it. You can get it with bigger squares but this is the stuff I normally use especially for full, uh, small snakes because corn snakes can't get through them and stuff but I use them for bows or you can get one with bigger holes in if you've got a lot bigger snake and different thicknesses and stuff but this is like perfect so all you'll need is a sheet of this which costs a couple of bucks or a few pound and the piece of metal that I brought like this I've already made what about five uh, light bulb cages out of it so it saves you a lot of money because I've been on eBay and they cost about 15 pound or like what 15 US dollars and things like that and for like a quarter of that price you can make like five yourself so all you need is some of this and uh, some cutting pliers and you'll need some screws with some washers so when you end up making it I'll show you how you screw it into the top so yeah carry on watching and enjoy the video and I'll take you through step by step alright here we are at the next bit so what I've done is I've cut it so I had two squares going basically well got it the same length all the way around the square but on one side I've made it longer by two squares so basically I cut out the bits in the middle and I bend them round like that and then you put them where the hole is and then I'm going to push them through the holes and pull them back underneath so that way it will basically seal it all the way round but with bent over wires and this one's pretty much finished where is it joined right that's it when I've bent them over. That doesn't even look. But I'll try and get it so you can see I've actually bent them over. I want to look inside. See, like you can see the little bits. That's how neatly I did it. It's pretty much like that. That's all bent over, and that's solid. That ain't going to come apart at all. So if there are any sharp edges, they're inside. So it doesn't really matter. But if you happen to get any rough edges outside, you can go over it with a little file, and then see how I've bent them and that's the bottom so yeah just bend them round like so like that but as you can see you can still see them at the moment Stupid camera to focus so I'm gonna push them through in a minute I'll use something like a screwdriver or something but as soon as I've done that I'll like show you the next step started pushing them down basically get the camera but yeah, I've started poking them down. What I do is basically just get them and uh, I push them down with a screwdriver. I don't know if you can see that properly. But basically, you push them through. You can do it with your finger if you can do it with your finger. But they're all pushed through now, but they're not like completely flat. See that there on my finger? So you can just bend them all of them down so you can get them to look really neat with your finger. If you want, you can make these longer than normal and then cut them off after, but it can hurt your hand a bit or you can use pliers, but it's not like strong metal. So you start bending them down basically, or all them ones that are sticking up, start pushing them all down. Get it as neat as you want. If you rush this, then it won't look very neat, but if you take your time, they don't take too long to make, to be fair, but, well, to make a really nice looking one. I thought you did it in 10 15 minutes, just depends how much patience you got. But yeah, I'll show you the next step. I'll straighten this out now and then I'll show you how to make the bottom for it. Right, so now I've got my square cut out and I'm going to start doing the edges on here so I can basically attach it to the bottom. So as soon as I've done that, I'll show you what it looks like. Right, I've finished cutting around it now, so it basically will look like this long bits so I'm going to get the flat bit and I'm going to stick it on so we can really see so each one sticks through a square so every long one goes through its own square and then you're going to do that all the way around and then you're going to bend them over like you did previously on the other part 
Right, so start pushing it down. See like that it come off. And then when it's pushed down, you get loads of little spiky bits sticking out the top. And they they will end up going all the way round. So you have to do it with one hand. But yeah, you'll bend them all the way round all the way round and back through the squares. So all the sharp bits are in the middle and I'll show you what it looks like after I finish. Right, basically I'll finish the bottom neaten it up a little bit and if there's any like little rough edges on it I'll go through it with a file so yeah other than that pretty much straight straight out a tiny bit more you can get them perfect and right now to attach it you want to do this to your corners cut out a square on the corner I've cut this one all I'll have to do is pull it and it'll come off if I've cut it enough yeah there we go and then the shape would look like that. Cut that out the corner. So it's up. And then put the camera down for one second. Right, you'll bend it down like that so it's flat. And then obviously you do it there. You do it all the way around. And then obviously when it goes on sink flat, it be like that. And then you get a washer and your screws and then you screw it up on top of the wood and then it just sits there perfectly. But yeah, I'll show you how to do a cable bit as well. But yeah, other than that, you're pretty much finished. Right, I've now finished it. It's completely 100% finished. Done all the rust spots. Done four bits so it can uh, sit flat when you put it on something. You just stick a washer and a screw through one of the holes. Do it all the way round, it'll just sit there solid. Nothing is going to get in whatsoever. It's completely sound. You can rather run the cable through a corner like that, or you can just cut out a little square section here for a cable, whatever you prefer, really. It's as easy as that, and then yeah, done. Piece of cake. It took me about 10 minutes to make that. Hey, yeah. Save myself a lot of money and you could do if you uh, made them so yeah piece of cake but hope you enjoyed watching it so no, i hope you like it i hope you make one if you do make one and that post um video response if you like i like to see it and stuff and be nice to see that someone made it after me sharing them but yeah um please comment rate and subscribe and i hope this was uh, useful to you if you want to make one instead of buying one so yeah this is the last bit to the video of making a cage for your light bulb. It's totally done now. I smoothened off all the edges so I had no rough bits on. See there's a gap before it touches each side. And I stick it up with washer and screws. You can stick one in the front and one in the back if you want. The cable's like back up there. And it's only got two screws in it. And if I wobble it, it doesn't even move at all. Literally does not move. Solid tight there. And that's only with two screws. So yeah, no one can touch it now. This doesn't even get hot. I could sit there all day like that. It's only warm. So yeah, that's how you stop your snake from wrapping around the light or getting burnt. And I made that for next to nothing. So I hope that video was helpful to you. And um, please comment, rate and subscribe. If you have uh, any more questions at all about making them or different sizes or different materials then please let me know. So thanks for watching, I hope it was helpful. Uh, post a video response if you happen to make one because it would be uh, good to watch. So cheers, see you all later.